Yeah, welcome back to Mark's Railway Trails and uh, we're actually on a railway walk today and we're uh, in Groton in Oldham looking for Lingate Tunnel today and we've just found as we've come down uh, over the tops really and this is the original platform from where the original station used to be before we hit the tunnel um, so that's a nice find, it's dead boggy today and um, According to our maps, this will lead us, hopefully, to Lingate Tunnel. But nice find that, uh, the old platform here, but very muddy under feet this morning. But just look at the length of the, the tunnel. We've come all the way down the old line. And we've just started videoing from here, really, because it's going to be quite a bit of a walk. But uh, nice to find that so early on. And nice to be back on a railway trail, to be honest with you. And uh, after so many local walks, we're in Groton uh, in Oldham near Saddleworth and we're looking for Lingate Tunnel today. Steve's roamed off the head. And we've got Steve Landers with us uh, today. But on this walk, this is going to be my 100th walk uh, on my channel today, and I've left this one to to be the uh, on a hundredth <laughs> video because this line um, was where my granddad used to come down when he was on the railways uh, so I know he's come through this tunnel so it'd be great to find it if we can and I just want to thank all the viewers I'm astounded really that I've had over probably about 23,000 views now on all my videos and it's, it's what started really as a bit of a walk after Covid, not so good. I'm just looking at some of my dad's train books and he made notes on a lot of the railways uh, where he ran on and his granddad and his dad ran on, my granddad. So this one today is for my granddad, Walter Winstanley, who I know would have come down this line and let's see if we can find Lingate Tunnel. I'm going through, you can't see it, but you're sinking a bit, it's very swampy, and you can just see the remains of the old platform. And I'll show you the station, hopefully when we come back, because it's further down, but there's the original platform that would have stopped here. And I'll give you some facts and figures if we can find this tunnel, but you can just see some of the, the walks still there. Steve Landers has rushed off ahead and hopefully this should bring us, if our bearings are right, towards the front of Lingate Tunnel in Groton, near Saddleworth in Oldham. But dead swampy today and we're glad we've come prepared with wellies and everything today because we knew with the weather this was going to be bad. There's a little bit of a path reeling through, which is good. But you can just see the embankment, how high it goes up now. That's the way we've come. But just look how muddy this path is. And it's going to get worse as we, we get further in and it gets wet. Whoa. So overgrown and wet this line now. But just look with all the rain. Whoa, your feet are sinking in it. And you can just see what we're going through to Steve's up ahead and I'm following his footsteps. <laughs> And you've got to keep moving because your feet stick in the mud if you don't. You can just see the footprints of stick. Whoa, my valley's gone. <laughs> I 
Whoa. Sinking then, stay. <laughs> what a wet what whoa. <laughs> and if you just show you that's how far down we're going. Whoa. And you've got to keep moving on this stuff. Because if you don't, you're just sinking it. I'm going to try and keep to, keep to the side. <laughs> You've got to move quick on it because if you don't, your feet sink. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. God, that was hard work. If you just see what we've come through. That was hard work and you just see the the old railway wall railway wall leading right up. And here we go. Again, still sinking. With all the rain, vegetation. Trying to find a way. But there's the old railway that led down to the station just down there. And we'll take some pictures of that on the way out. And hopefully, this is going to bring us to the opening. Steve's well ahead. So boggy to get to this and it's the only way you could really get to it really I'm having a minute because my feet are just sinking but you've got to go quick because your feet just sinking it oh and there we go it's here here it is and you can just see how much water has come down Whoa. and it's still sinking down Whoa. <laughs> and you can just see how far we're how far we're up and you just see all the water coming down off the top bit of a collapse there as well and uh, wow here we are uh, Lingate Tunnel, we've found it, but just look at the amount of water that's coming down from the from the top. And we've got an entry today as well. Steve, don't go anywhere yet. But that's how far we've come down. We're just going to get geared up to go in here now with the hard hats and everything so I'll just leave this running a minute and I'll just leave my camera on while, you, while we get set up to go in this tunnel but whew, that was so sticky getting down there Steve wasn't it? Yeah it was yeah, yeah. just pull it forward no just pull it forward on top there just empty there's a button on top somewhere there uh, that one I'm just going to leave this running for a minute. I'm just going to pause it here, in fact, while we just get set up. And uh, I'm just looking at the amount of water that's coming down. If you can just see it, that's some water coming down from the top. It's obviously been a bit of a collapse there as well. And, uh, and we can get in, which is good. We're no climbing today. And uh, we come prepared today, believe it or not because we had the old uh, ladders with us in case we needed to get in but I don't think we'll need them but just in case but I'll just pause it here while we get geared up uh, and let's see what's in Lingate Tunnel yes yeah, so just to recap that's where we've just come 
all the way down that that uh, the old double track line uh, that leads to Lingate Tunnel in Groton uh, in Oldham. Very over not overgrown but just so swampy and if you just look it just gives you an idea how swampy that was and it was hard work coming through there and just if you can just see the embankments above here how far down we are now and uh, just as we're coming up to it like I said before the water's coming in really bad uh, from the top bit of a collapse on the wall so we've got the hard hats on today Steve's there you can just see him and this is where we are the front of Lingate Tunnel in Groton and I'll give you facts and figures after because I would just want to do the walk really um, we've got in um, we didn't need to climb today although we did bring our ladders today because we thought the extendable ladders to get us over this hurdle but uh, somebody's done it for us and uh, makes it a bit easier but looking at the maps when we get in here I think there's another entry inside as well and I'm stuck in my wellies <laughs> he's stuck in the mud <laughs> But if you just look at the front of the, the front of the tunnel, again the workmanship on these tunnels uh, were built to last. And if you're wondering what all the little brick holes are for, originally that would have been closed off. And they leave that for bats, so bats can get in it. If you're wondering what that is. But it's just so wet as you can hear it. And here we go, this is the entry into it. We've got Steve Landers with us today, and Steve Landers professional photographer he's got his own channel as well so we're all geared up with the hard hats today but that's what we're looking at this is Lingate tunnel and we're going to walk through it. it's a bit wet and Steve as I say to everybody that does these railway walks stick together don't go shooting off on your own yeah and uh, just watch what you're walking because you don't know what's under your feet but we'll have a quick look as we walk in and if you can just see wow we've just come in the tunnel and if you notice if you follow my light all the way up that is cracked all the way around all the way around it's cracked and you can see there they put a C2 and they've highlighted where the crack is that's not good can you see it all the way around yeah wow <laughs> and it's one dark tunnel for certain and uh, let's have a walk you can just hear the rain coming down uh, from the top it's going to be wet this today and just look at that look at the the colours of the, the water if you can just see the water running off you can see it dripping that's just with my hard hat helmet uh, put the full beam on and you can see the all the driplets coming down but definitely that's a concern like I said that crack goes all the way all the way around and that's before we even got in the tunnel and it has been supported to keep that wall up as well and as you walk into the tunnel you can feel the rain on us you can just see the droplets we've got another barrier in front of us well, we won't need the ladders today Steve somebody's no. done the work for us Um, when we get in this tunnel we'll be about 220 metres below um, the level and there'll be houses as if above us and playing fields as we get further in and uh, just look at the colours amazing the water that And there you go, there's one of the first Naviolas, as they used to call them, standing when the trains were coming through 
number 78. Number 78. And I th obviously we'll count them as we go in. It gives you an idea of the, I think, the yardage and stuff. Number 78. But strange, another fence that they've obviously tried to stop people going in here. Uh, and they've put another fence uh, up to stop us. But again, somebody's done the work for us. There you go. Old wheelbarrow. Huh? But the colours on the wall are fantastic when the rain just hits the colours and it just bounces out. 77, so it counts down, it's on 78, so... Yeah, now these are, I believe, on the wall, as you can see, that's the first thing that we see in here. If you see where they've got the, the arms coming out and then on the bottom you'll see like a wooden rail going along. Apparently these were for signals in the tunnel, they used to be like a, a casing, can you see them all along? And it was like a casing that they put the, uh, the, the wires in for the signals. Well that's just where we've come, and uh, I'll just flip my torch off a minute. And I've only got my headlight on now and you can just see we didn't have any lights on in here, how dark it would be. Another Navio. <laughs> now this would have been the two track line of Lingate Tunnel um, coming through. I'll give you some facts and figures later when we get out of the tunnel because um, you can rabbit on too much and I don't want to miss anything, I just want to see it. But there you go, uh, Naviol that you get two railway workers in that when the trains come. If you notice we started on 78, so it counts, it, it counts itself down. Um, this has had a bit of an incline, I think it's 1.76 incline this had, so we'll start dipping as we get further down the tunnel really. There's a number again, number 76. Um, you see some drains here that they've installed to get all the water flowing through. But if you just look up on top, can you see how black all the bricks are from all those years of steam trains coming down this line? It's uh, you can just see some of the odd bricks have still got colour, but the majority are black here from all the steam. Not a bad beam on this, Steve, is it? And as you can see, Steve, 75, so... But look at the water. Water that's here. Another man, Naviol. And there you go, it's just, you can see how long the channel. No, this, this had six shafts originally, Steve. Um, two were, were filled in and the others were capped above, but you can still see the shafts as we, uh, as we walk the tunnel. Number 73, so as you can see, we're... Uh, coming down but the brickwork on here I know it's full of soot but if you remember when we come in you've seen all the crack going all the way around these are pretty solid actually really solid uh, walls just hang on there Steve and if you see there that this tunnel uh, the residents worried about the tunnel collapsing so I think it was in 2008 they did a lot of restoration work on the tunnel and that's part of it that you can see where they've put the new bricks in but if you notice on the bricks what do you see 
two pipes and that was to let all the water out not sitting in the wall um, that was done I think off the top of my head when I read up on it, it was 2008 um, if you look over here you'll see more of it do you see how they put the pipe work in and that's to let all the water come out from behind the wall so the stops it collapsing and there was quite a lot of pinning done on this tunnel in 2008 and apart from the areas that they pinned they said it was quite a safe tunnel there was no need to fill it in because it was pretty sound and if you look at the brickwork on it Steve's just checking some uh, pictures yeah over an old signal point there yeah. Yeah. at some point now they would have had the lines on for the signals you see where the caps are on the wall on the other side these would have joined the cables to I would say the signal points um, but one wet tunnel but as you can see they put a lot of drainage in there now uh, with the white caps but look at that, it's, we're hitting water now, it is flooded. Now you look back, that's where you can just see, <laughs> right at the other end, the tunnel there, Steve. Like I said, we've got all the gear on today, hard hats, high visits and wellies, we've come well prepared. But just look at the soot, unbelievable. 71, so we're counting down uh, as we go in. Like I say, we're about 220 uh, metres below uh, under the ground level now. If you look at that, I'll send my camera in that, if I can just show you. There's like a, a water vent that they use in to keep all the water away from the inner bricks. Again, another Naviol, two-man Naviol, Steve. Yeah. yeah. Boards. But these, if you see these boards here <coughs> on the floor, they would have gone on to the, the brackets on the wall and they would have held the cables for the signals. What a dark tunnel. We're down on 70 now. Again, more drainage. But one dark tunnel ahead when you knock your lights off. <laughs> more drainage, as you can see. Another navy hole. But if you can just look at the water that's coming in, that's running down this tunnel, um, you can just see it. More drainage holes, and it's very wet today. Obviously, all the rain that we've had. If you just listen to that. Can hear as the rain coming down. Look at the water that's come down here, see? Yeah. Now we should be hitting, we're on 67 now. They reckon when you. You can just see there's a slight bend in the tunnel stay at the bottom. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can just see it's straight, a slight bend on the end. And uh, I'm glad I've got this powerful torch there because it just picks it up. Now just be careful on this part, Steve, yeah. I've done my own work on this, you, you come up to some bad parts now. Yeah. Um, as you can yeah. see here, yeah. where they've done, redone the brickwork, and the workmen have been down. But just look at that, the colours 
that that gives off. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Let me get a, let's see, get a close up of that. Shiny torch on it, Christy. Look at them colours. Unbelievable. The water coming through the brick. And if you look up here, they've actually pinned it with grates. If you look above there, it's all been pinned because obviously subsidence at some time and they've done retaining brickwork on it and then pinned it. That's not safe, is it really? It doesn't make you feel safe, but they have pinned it. Uh, and they reckon this tunnel is a sound and safe tunnel since they've done all the uh, work in it in 2008. But just look at that. Wow. Wow, look at that. The colours that they give out, look. Wow. But all you can hear is the rain. And you can tell you're getting deeper now because you blow your breath. Wow, even more there. And look at some of the ice holes on the. Just look at that. The colours is of all the water dropping down. It's wow. And you can just see where they've put all the like grates and it's like fungi, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. With the water yeah. that's but it's just the colours that. Wow. Yeah, in, in the yeah. Uh, just look at that, that's a shot, look at that, Steve. Yeah, 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 look at that. Yeah, yeah. shooting oh, down yeah, the tunnel. Yeah. Now what I do when I'm doing these videos, I can capture pictures from the, the video from it. Uh, Steve's great with the pictures. Well, he is a professional photographer, so he should be. <laughs> <laughs> if he's no good at pictures, we're all knackered, aren't we? <laughs> But just look at, look at the water that we're hitting now, it's one wet tunnel, number 65. Now I, I do my own work on a lot of these tunnels when we do it, and when we get to 65 we should be uh, hitting the shafts, you know. But just again, I'm, I'm mesmerised with the colours that it just gives off. It looks, you look at the floor and then, wow. Steve, you just stand there and I'll get a picture with you with that colour behind you because that'll take, there's Steve with his hard hat. And just look at the, um, whoa, it's sinking in water. <laughs> but just look at them colours and... And you can just see light at the end of the tunnel if I floor, flick it now, where we've come. But if we dim the light, you'll just see a very flicker of a light now. We're going to be losing the, uh, the end of the tunnel where we came in. Because it's a slight curve on the end of this tunnel. And it's just there, as you can see on the bend. Let's take your time down here, Steve. Yeah. yeah. But that... That, look at that sphere above. Yeah. The, the, oh, that's part of the, I've been bricked up, yeah. isn't it? But look at that, where my torch is, it's like the ice, it like, looks like ice colours. No, it's not, but it's just like where they've all oh, yeah. dropped. Yeah. 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 But this again, the yeah. This section here, that's new. That's new. Well, so, some of it is, part of it is not as sooty as others for yeah. some reason. Um, again, the colours, just look at them colours. It's absolutely amazing. It's. I just hope the camera picks these up, and I, I think it will. It's. Yeah. But just look at how the brown, like yeah. Steve said, it's the iron and. Iron in the water, uh, on the stonework, and as you can see, I take my cap, my light off now. We've lost where we're coming, so there's no way back. <laughs> yeah. That would. Another Navio. 
Now, my granddad would have come down this um, line on his train, and this is why I wanted to find this tunnel today. Uh, he, he lived in Moshton, my granddad, Walter Winstanley. Um, and he would have come down this line. And I know I can't show you in the tunnel, but I'm actually wearing his gold watch today. Um, what he got for 45 years service on the railway. So, for Grandad Win Stanley, this is for you today. Uh, retracing some of your steps. And as they always say on Mark's Railway Trials, going back in time where some of your family have been and what memories you must have had shooting through this tunnel and uh, on the Delft donkey line. But just look at that, Steve, and... Uh, I'll just drop my torch because I've got a bit of a gadget today that will um, light this up and uh, I've not used it in a tunnel before but I thought it'd be ideal for tunnels and you can see them all the way all the way down wow I'm just having a minute. Just hold on a minute, first. And look at that. Is that is some of the brickwork? And obviously, when they were doing um, now, people will be asking, "What's this brickwork here for?" A lot of, is when they kill some of the shafts. He just sent the brickwork down into the tunnel, and that's what you can see see here. Now what I've got here, I'm going to light this up, and this, this should give us a bit of a... I'll just show you, that's what I was on about, sorry, the brickwork. A lot of this brickwork was when they were doing uh, repairs in the tunnel, but a lot of it was when they were killing some of the shafts and they've just sent the rubble down. But if I send this out, this will just light it up. <laughs> Look at that, Steve. And you can just see I'm with a little laser pen. And it should pick. And you can do different There you go. <laughs> Number 62. But they're great, like little icicles all hanging on the ceiling. Amazing. You can see how the water's running. And that, these vents, what they put in, you can see, if you just look down, just look where all the water's running down and they're doing the job of keeping this tunnel uh, not dry, but the water's definitely running away. Number 61, Steve. There you go, Steve. That's what I was on about. If you look, where the wooden panels were joined to these, these would have been for cables. You see how they hide the cables inside? I would say that would have been for signals. Can you see? Yeah. And another drainage point. But there are more icicles on the, the ceiling. Wow. Wow. How long does this tunnel Off the top of me. Quarter mile. Sorry? Quarter mile. Yeah, I think it's something like 1,335 metres. How long yeah. that is in miles, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, 
I say it's got to be what half a mile, quarter of a mile. Yeah. Yeah, a drain. That drains overflowing, you know. But again, it just picks the colours up. Amazing. Fifty-nine. And we, we started at what seventy-eight, was it? Yeah. Yeah, it's the. But one long tunnel. Look at that now, but we, we can't even see the end yet. It's more navvies, two mad navvy holes. 68. You're taking a picture of all them, Steve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be a good shot. Is that football, there? football, yeah. Yeah. But there we go, that's like we said before, the brackets on the wall, if you look, it was to put the cable in, in uh, for the signals, I would say. See, I'll try and keep on the side now, because you know, it, a lot of quite deep, yeah. Now we're hitting quite a bit of a deep patch now. Uh, but we're going to do it, we're going to hit it. Uh, just be careful, Steve. If you can just see, we're in a bit of a river at the moment. And this obviously is half, I would say we're nearly halfway in. Now, when we get to here, 57, I've done my own work on these tunnels. Yeah. We should hit a shaft, one of the first shafts, yeah. just after 57. So I might be wrong. 57 recessions. Recession. Yeah. Just watch you. There's some. Whoa. Yeah. Quite deep. Yeah. yeah. Uh, drop my torch for a minute. Might might use the boards. Keep your hand on the side. You all right? That is quite deep. <laughs> if it's, you okay? Just take your time, no rush. That is quite deep, that. My, but one spell I was up to the top of my wellies, so. Uh, oh. That's probably the deepest part that we've been in. Uh, quite deep that, 56, here we are, we're going to hit our first shaft. Uh, yeah, 56 behind you Steve, if you want that picture. Stick to the side Steve. And here we go, wow. Wow. And if you just look up and you can see all the water. Look at that, Steve, look how high that shaft is. Oh, well, yeah, because you're... yeah. Yeah. And if you can see on the top, it's all been capped at the top. But look at all the rain droplets coming down from the shaft. But look at the brickwork on that. Look at that. Wow. That is unbelievable. There you go. If you look at the top. If, yeah. I'm getting drowned here, but we've got my eye hat on, so I'm all right. But, wow, look. You see at the top where they've capped it. Um, but look at the brickwork. Unbelievable. You can see all the rain. Yeah. Coming down it, but oh, yeah, yeah. wow! But yeah. just look at the brickwork on that. I'm going to zoom in on that. Do that again, that and that. No. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'll get a picture of, the, of, of that. I'll get a picture of that with you. 
Wow, just look at the brickwork on that. I'm trying to get you close up on it. Yeah. Oh, good, that. Can you see where it's yeah. capped at the top? Yeah, yeah. And the brickwork, yeah. it's just all gone gold colour, but... Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's great, that. Yeah. Wow. And the neck again. I'm going to get another shot of that. And there's a shot. Look at that with the laser on, Steve. Well, I know, I'm just lighting it up with a laser pen above it now. And it's just sending all the little lights up. Oh, what a shaft that is, what a fine. And I'll get one, get the torch back on it and you can see it. But wow. If you just look here, it's got DFT and shaft one, so that's number one shaft, Odom six. And I, I would say DFT stands for Department for Transport, I would say, off the top of my head. There's a money shot for that. But just look at the drains, what how they're taking all this water. It's unbelievable. And there's a shaft. Uh, Try and get it with just a hard hat light on. Just look at that shaft, there you go. And you can just see the, the driplets, the water uh, coming down. But just look at the brickwork on that. I'll shine my light on there and you can see it. I'm going to video that again as I'm coming out. But what? Number one shaft. meters but if you just look at the soot on the on the tunnel roof number 54 why you gotta be careful when you do these tunnel walks you're so busy cameraing and looking you should be walk, just be careful where you're walking really but what a wet tunnel in parts but the drains are doing the job you can just see how the drains they've put in and the water's running down them and again some more old railway again and if you look at these you'd think they'd be steel but they would they're actually wood and wood survived that all that long you know what a good resource. It's obviously collapsed part of it, which makes it really. And it's like slate, isn't it, behind it? Yeah. Is it like a slate, that, Steve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's natural. Yeah? That's natural rock, isn't it? it rock. Yeah, it's, it's where the, um, yeah. the front of the, yeah. the naviole has collapsed. And that's obviously what's behind all these walls. How solid is that? Mm. But these amaze me. You yeah, think so, you think so, they would have been steel, yeah. wouldn't you? But they would. The wood was just sticking there. And wood, so, you know. Candles and nail. Yeah. Fifty-two. <laughs> I'm just so glad we come with wellies today. We wouldn't have got this far if we hadn't. Are they blind it off here? Why is the lines on the wall? Of, for some reason, it's got to be the reason why it's been lined off. 51, 51. Stick to the sides again, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> but nice to see that shaft. Thank you. 
50 in now. Very dark now, isn't it? Yeah. Probably in the darkest part yeah. of the tunnel. And what we'll do, I'll just show you how dark it is. We've knocked the lights off. I've got my hard hat on, and you can't see a thing with your hard hat light on. It's only when you put your big beam on. It, it kind of picks the light up again. And there's been some kind of work done on here. You can see where they put like the gravel down. It must be to keep the tunnel dry, I would say. That's definitely been put down, hasn't it? Yeah, it's recent. It's recent, you know. Yeah. But I just said to you, when you're doing these railway walks, if you wasn't looking and you walked over that, that's an it. You'd instantly break your ankle. For certain, you know. Quite a long tunnel, isn't it? Yeah. It's longer than I thought, actually. Yeah. Another yeah. Navio. Yeah. Look at the brickwork. Yeah. Solid that. Yeah. 45. And you can feel we we kind of dropping, can't you? Yeah. yeah. More of the like icicle things there against the on top. Yeah. yeah. Top set of parts to the tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. 44. We started on what was it, 78? Yeah, yeah. Um, what these look like, I don't know what they are to be honest with you. I think they're. Like, um, well, you can see one closer there. It's called, it's called um, Lime Scale. Yeah? It like, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. But you can see where they put the see, pipes yeah. in. Yeah. Or is it something to do with the pinion or something? I'm not certain. No. They, they look like. They don't, they don't, need, they don't need mortar, don't they? Yeah? Yeah. So it must be something to do. I don't know. We'll, we'll get back a look up, watch it steer it in a bit of water again. <coughs> 42. But there you go, and I'll just show you. Oh, there you go. On top. Just listen now. All you can hear is the water. Again, some where they've redone the brickwork on it to support the tunnel underneath. Wow. New bricks to support it. A lot of new brickwork done on it. But you can just see where they, how much rain we've had, it's just taking it down the, the drains, which are doing the job, to be honest with you. But look at this. I'm going to wait to another shaft here now, number two shaft. Remember, so you know, what number we are. If 41, there should be another shaft coming up. But this is when they've done a lot of the brickwork, but I think it's when they've collapsed some of the old tunnels 
the old shaft, sorry, and just sent it down. There you go. And here we go. Shaft number two, Oldham Six, Department for Transport. What a wet. Just look at the brickwork that's come down uh, when they've been obviously pinning this tunnel. But I think that's come from the old shafts. When they've collapsed the shafts, they've just sent them down. Mm. Just look at the. Send it up again. Wow. If you just look at. There you go. You can just see all the water coming down. Wow. And again, Steve, if you look up, yeah. it's capped at the top. But look at all the driplets coming down. Wow. You're getting wet yeah, here, but look at that for a it. shot. It's like the isn't it? Wow. But just look at the colours. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I've got to get another shot of that. Getting the camera a bit wet there, but. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, just have a minute, see. Completely black now, we're right in the thick of this tunnel. Yep. Get the torch on, but like I was showing you there. Oh, a big pile of. Shaft number two. We're on to 39. But look at here, all the soot on the ceiling. It's going very dark now. And the reason it's going dark is because of the sooty walls. You've not got any reflection off the, uh, the brickwork, so you're going to go very dark now. Where before we had a lot of clean walls, it was a lot lighter. And the 38. What more of them ice cream things? Are they? What are they? I think it's got to be something to do with pinning or something. Might be wrong. Because they're going through brick, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Only certain parts do. Yeah. Um, reaction with the chemical, with the soil. Don't know. Is it like rods they've put in to strengthen? No. I don't know. I need to look at, we need to find yeah, out, look that. into it. What? Yeah. <coughs> but there you go, there's showing it you better. That's where the rail, the, the wires would have been for the signals hidden in the wooden trellises along, and that's what you can see all along here. <coughs> but amazing that that's wood and it's lasted so long, you know. The last train that came down here, by the way, was 1964. It was the very last train to uh, come down this tunnel. Double track. Which you can tell how wide this tunnel is. Thirty-four. But they definitely, look, this has definitely been put down to dry. Somebody's done a bit of street art. And there you go, an old. <laughs> Probably what they used for that pin in it. <laughs> yeah, and a bit of artwork in Lingate's on. <laughs> and obviously, people come down here at some spell, they could have got candles and had some Jaffa cakes or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hey? Graffiti gets everywhere. Yeah. 
32 and we're still climbing, dropping down. But you can't really see much because the walls are so black, it doesn't reflect the light. 31. It's going a lot colder now, do you not think? Yeah. Number 30. So there you go, there's some more pinning or something there. This is a powerful torch, but because the, the soot on the, yeah, the roof, it doesn't really pick. Yeah. Oh, and it's been pinned, look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If, if you just look above now, you yeah. will shine the torch on it. Yeah. You can, can actually see, yeah. see where they've pinned it. Yeah. They're like rods yeah. and pinned it up. And all yeah. new brickwork around the shaft. Yeah. To support it. Yeah. Wow. And here we go. Number three shaft. I'll get right under it. Yeah. And you can see it. Wow, all the driplets coming down on it. There you go, it's been capped above. Wow. Hey? No, it's the SD, there you go. And there we go, Oldham 6. Shaft number 3, which we've just seen. There you go, that's a better. Yeah, that's really a picture. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't it? Without the light on. And there's the shaft. But we'll just look how they pinned it. You can just see the pin work oh, yeah. uh, on the shaft there. Yeah. They pinned it all around on shaft number three and all the brickwork, but completely dark in here. With all the water. And again, more bricks from just you can't see it, but the soot on this wall now is totally black, you know. That's amazing, isn't it? It's yeah. out of the bedrock, yeah. bedrock. Yeah. Yeah. and again they've done a bit of maintenance to protect it, new brickwork at the side of it, holding it up. With all the rain it's not surprising, but look how much soot's on them ceiling, wow. <laughs> Longer than I thought this tunnel. Yeah. It's gone very cold now. It's got daylight up there. Yeah. Now when we get the end here, you we should be some. Uh, we can get out and look to where the line ran, yeah. but you can't get down. There's about ten foot drop. Yeah. If me, me own work, what I did on this tunnel, is correct. See, these is how they would have looked originally. Yeah. And obviously, because yeah, of subsidence, the they've all, yeah. Yeah. that would have gone. But yeah. that's for two, two navvies, that, to get yeah. in. To get in, yeah. You know. Um, yeah. But I'll, you know, imagine being in that and a steam train comes yeah, in. It must be full been, of such, isn't it? I've been through one. When I was a kid, we ran away from home. Uh, we lived in Preston at the time. Yeah. Found the bridge. 
Yeah, and again, where they've done some more uh, redeeming work, pinning it to protect it. That's probably one of the quietest commentaries I've done in our tunnel because I don't want to miss anything. I'm just watching everything and looking because I'm just amazed, <laughs> really, that, you know, they've saved the tunnel, really, with all the underpinning and what they've done instead of just filling it in, you know. But you can just see how they... The brickwork. And we're down to six, 16. Yeah. And we've got some bad water coming up, Steve. Yeah. I think we'll go this side. You follow me and then point us both of us going out over there. It's quite deep here now. Uh, if you look at the water that's down here now, uh, can we get through this? But we're going to try. I'm going to keep the torch on me. I think the thing is to keep moving because you sink if you're longer you stand whoa just keep moving Steve because you sink take your time wow that's deep <laughs> whoa And here we go, shaft number four. <laughs> and look at the rain coming down that baby. I'm going to try and get it on the corner. Here we go. Shaft number four. And there it is. And if you just look at the rain coming down on that one. Whoa. I'm getting wet through you. Just look at that coming down out that shaft. Unbelievable. Get a picture of that actually. Yeah, you, yeah. And you can just see a pipe at the side. Yeah, oh yeah, just look like at it, it out. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. much of yeah. Wow. The rain coming down that shaft. Wow. All onto the brickwork here. Just look at that. Wow. Number 12. That was quite deep there then. <laughs> Sorry? It gets narrowed. Yeah. It's narrowed. Narrowed a bit. Is it, is it optical illusion? Optical illusion. A bit the same size, won't it? Because it's two bedded tracks. So, and like I say, camera's not picking a lot up now because it's so dark. But again, more <laughs> gold. <laughs> 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 In the Navi. <laughs> I'll give you some facts and figures when we get to the end of this tunnel. We're going to, if we can get, climb up here, we'll have a sit out and show you where 
But that's a money shot, look at that. You can try and get it where they... Do it like that, see, it'll bounce the light. That. But just look how the like icicles are coming in. I know they're not icicles, they're, it's something that's reacting and they're all just dropping down where the new brick is. But you can just see the pipes there doing its job, all the water coming out that you put in to keep the water from behind the, the uh, tunnel, stop it um, subsiding. It's doing its job. Wow. And there we are, Steve, we're nearly there. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get through that middle bit there. No, I didn't either. That's quite... But well, again here, when you do these railway walks, always be careful where you're walking because you know you fall in that. That's definitely an ankle breaker. And here we are, the end of the... Number six. more work that they've done and you know what i'm glad they've done work to keep these tunnels up so glad we put wellies on today Just look how muddy it is. I'm trying to shine my light off it so you can see it. Stay in the middle, stay. But the drain's doing the job. Stand going, it's getting a bit. Oh, watch it, a lot of brickwork here, Steve. Yeah. Well, I can just show you how wet it is. Um, in some parts we're on top of our wellies just above <laughs> so we're going on with wet socks today <laughs> and here we go right at the end and I'm going to give you some facts and figures up here we're going to get up here and we're going to sit down and have a brew up here <laughs> so there you go all the way down we've come from Lingate Tunnel and that's a good shot, it just lights it up. One long tunnel, probably the longest tunnel I've done. Um, and we're going to get up here and get some sunshine and uh, Steve, just be dead careful. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to do it with a camera. Oh. Got me wellies, camera in hand. Set your time. Oh. Try doing it with one hand. <laughs> Coming up, Steve. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Steve's just coming up the ladder now. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. Hopefully that's the rest of it. Have a sit there. Huh? Yeah, let's get up here. Ah. 
Don't fall. Don't go out as a massive drop. No, no, no. We just come up that ladder now. Come all the way through Lingate Tunnel and it brings you out. Oops. That's it, yeah. To an opening door, and that's what we're going to stand up and watch it up for. I thought cut it off. Yeah. As you can see, you can see the bridge at the other side, and this is where the line would have run on. But if you look at the drop that we've got from here, quite a big drop. And uh, these actually shut. I just shut it a minute, Steve. Yeah. Somebody's pushed the lock off it and got in. And uh, we're going to have a minute here. We're going to sit and have a cup of tea. Watch, don't stand back, Steve. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We're on top of this now, looking down into the tunnel. I'm just going to put the camera down here in a minute, Steve. Don't touch it. Don't open that yet. No, no, no. Yeah. Is that bridge there? Is that, is that is that used? You know. Yeah, you can get over that bridge. Yeah. Not that door, Steve. Oh, no. Well, we've just been transported back in time on March Railway Trails, and that's the TARDIS that we landed in. <laughs> you always get the TARDIS on the shot, and that's the, the money shot of the TARDIS in Lingate's home. There it is, the TARDIS landed in the tunnel, going back in time and marks where the letter ends. <laughs> I'm just going to pause it here because it's time for tea and biscuits. Steve's just having me finish your brew, Steve. Steve's having a brew now, we're having a brew. And as you can see, <laughs> yeah. we're on Cadbury's Fingers today in the Lingate Tunnel of the Brew. Are you not sponsored by them? <laughs> there, <you go. laughs> well, there we go, we're on Cadbury's oh, no, Fingers. I'll, I'll get, Just chuck them on floor, yeah, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. But one dark tunnel. And, Take uh, with you. One dark tunnel. And I'm going to give you some facts and figures now, as I promised. I'll wait for Steve to finish his brew. And I'll get <coughs> into the daylight in a minute and give you some facts and figures. But one long tunnel. I was so glad to make it. I didn't think we were going to get through that uh, wet patch, but we did. And, uh, SpongeBob's just gone down there, so it doesn't matter. Hey, so we're just getting a brew. And here we are, we're on the top of this base that we've come through up the ladders. Uh, you can see there, it's called the space confined. We can't get down here because it's about a 15 foot drop. We'll just break our legs. But if you can just see where the tunnel uh, ends here, and uh, that went all the way up to Huddlesfield, Saddleworth, Upper Mill, uh, Delft, 
Dob Cross up there, and uh, we're in Lingate Tunnel here. Um, just give you some facts and figures on this lovely view. The Delft Donkey Line opened 1849, and it connected Oldham Greenfield Delft to Woodersfield Manchester Line, uh, Groton Springfield Lees, Oldham Mumps, it led to uh, where we came in, to Clegg Street Station, where we did, me and Tony Redmond, in Oldham. Uh, passenger trains ceased running April 1955 and limited trains till freight till 1963-64, 63 the year that I was born. Uh, 1980, they filled in um, all the air vents, capped them at the top and 2008 there was a routine inspection on, on this tunnel uh, and all the brickwork and drainage pipes was put in. Delft Station, 1st of September 1851, uh, London and North Western Railway, closed the 2nd of May 1955, uh, Grosh, Grashcroft Railway Station, 1912, and that closed in, 1959, in 1955, sorry, I know you like all your facts and figures. Um, Lingate Tunnel, I'm trying to remember all these off the top of my head, Lingate Tunnel opened 1849. It's 335 yards long, um, closed 1955 to passenger service. The line to Oldham Mumps closed in 62, and the last train ran down this line on the 4th of December 1963, the year that I was born. The first train was the 4th of July 1856, and the London North Western Railway. It originally had um, six shafts, two were filled in, and there's four remaining shafts um, left today. I think originally there was eight shafts when I looked on an old map, but obviously that was dating back from years ago. Uh, and it's on the Delft Donkey Line. And if you're wondering why they call it the Delft Donkey Line originally, because of the incline, I think there's a 1.75 incline on this tunnel, they used to roll the stock down into this tunnel and then push it from the other end with uh, having donkeys pulling it and it gets the name, the Delft Donkey Line. If you're wondering what the name Delft is, it's an old English word, old English, um, word for quarry and that's where they get the name, the Delft Donkey Line. Trains pulled from Delft and pushed to Oldham, so they pulled the trains and then pushed it to Oldham uh, with the incline and later obviously the steam trains came in. When constructed in the mid 1800s, it was the longest tunnel in Oldham, and it cost 26 pound per yard to uh, to build. And if you look back, that that's some money today. And like I said to you all, I've done this for my granddad Walter Wynn Stanley, who I know would have come down this line uh, on his train. He was a steam train driver. He lived in Moston. I know he's come down this line, and I'm wearing his watch today for 45 years service on the railway so oops. granddad walter and stanley this one's from for you from me and steve on mark's railway trails today well that's your facts and figures we've got some fresh air now we've had a brew we've had some cabri's fingers i hope diane doesn't notice i'm missing but uh, you need a i need a snack and we can't get out of here <laughs> so we're gonna have to walk all the way back and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pause the video here and just have a breather and then I'm going to pick it up a little bit later on as we get near the shafts and uh, again thanks all of you for watching these videos I started it off as a bit of a get myself fitness and finding my dad's um, places that he put down in his books that he written about and that created a channel and just thanks to you all over over 25,000 people have watched my videos and what started off as a little bit of a hobby. I just thank you all, it's amazing, and I hope you enjoy this one. But that's it for part one, and I'm gonna do part two on the uh, Lingate Tunnel. If we get out of this tunnel, we've gotta walk it all the way back. So from me and Steve, we'll see you on the next one. There's Steve. <laughs> see, see you later, later. See you later. <laughs> we've gotta get all our hard bats off. Gonna have another brew, have a minute, and uh, See you for part two of Lingate Tunnel on Mark's Railway Trails.